Do you remember Solana's price rally back in 2021? Sol went from $2 in January and soared all the way up to $259 in eight months. And it wasn't just because of the bull rally. Actually, what contributed to the massive price action was Solana's ambitious design, which of course aims to solve the long prevailing blockchain trilemma. But in 2022, Solana faced numerous issues with network instability and the users lost some of their faith in the project. Does that mean the blockchain trilemma cannot be solved? No, we don't think so. We think it still is something that can be solved. And in fact, the research team at Altcoin Buzz has found a project that claims to have a potential solution. Now's probably a good time to look at it because once the market regains its footing and starts to heat up, we expect this project to really take off. This project does have a chance to be the next Solana, but of course, hopefully without any blockchain halts or downtimes. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie and this is Altcoin Buzz. We are a crypto investment research company. We have documented many 100x returns on coins and tokens that are top projects today, really before anyone else was even talking about them. And if you want to see our detailed process for researching such projects, then our new and improved Altcoin Buzz Access Group is for you. Our plans start at $99 monthly. Be sure to click the link below for more information. If you haven't yet signed up, you still have eight days to check out our exclusive Altcoin Buzz access link for MEXC, in which you stand a chance to win up to $6,699 in bonuses. Once again, eight days are remaining. To become eligible for the bonuses, you simply need to fund your account and start trading. Check out more information with the link that is popping up now, as well as the one that can be found in our description below. Best of luck. Fair warning, any kind of investment, whether crypto or otherwise, does carry corresponding risk. So look, this video is full of useful, hopefully, information. Do with it what you will, but please don't consider it to be official financial or investment advice. It is not. With that being said, let's get right into the value proposition of Aleph Zero, which is a privacy enhancing public blockchain with instant finality. And we're talking about it today because Tomorrow is already June 22nd, and that's when smart contracts are going to debut on Aleph Zero's testnet. And that means that developers are gonna be able to build the next big thing on one of the most advanced blockchain testnets starting tomorrow, June 22nd. We're gonna get right back to the project, but let's first get some context straight and understand why solving for the blockchain trilemma really is the holy grail in this crypto space. All right, chances are you've heard about this term before, but in case you haven't, blockchain trilemma was coined by Ethereum's co-founder Vitalik Buterin to describe three core issues that developers face, all developers, when creating blockchains. And the three elements of the blockchain trilemma are decentralization, security, and scalability. And the term means that one of these must be sacrificed in order to successfully implement the other two, and this is where inefficiencies creep into blockchain networks. In other words, you can try optimizing for decentralization and security, but then scalability is de-emphasized. On the contrary, you can focus on scalability and security, but then decentralization is going to suffer. It's kind of like allocating points into a character class in an RPG. You just can't max out every single category, you're limited. So how does Aleph Zero solve for this blockchain trilemma? Well, at the core of Aleph Zero's value proposition is DAG. That's a directed acyclic graph, DAG, the algorithm which works like a blockchain, but is not really a blockchain actually. Let's find out in a very simple way as to how using DAG, Aleph Zero solves the blockchain trilemma. Beginning first of all with scalability. So a DAG protocol like Aleph Zero has some serious advantages over traditional proof of work blockchains. For example, it produces the consensus much faster than a blockchain, and thanks to that, it's able to maintain high transaction speeds when operating on a high scale, something, of course, that Bitcoin's blockchain cannot achieve. And Aleph Zero has already proven it on a test network of 128 nodes where it reached 100,000 transactions per second. That's the power of DAG, and Aleph Zero's DAG clearly solves the scalability issue from the blockchain trilemma. But the next element, the next variable, if you will, is security. And Aleph Zero's DAG employs Aleph BFT, which is a Byzantine fault-tolerant consensus protocol. And through the use of Aleph BFT, it ensures that the communication between nodes remains effective and transparent, despite the presence 
of potentially malicious nodes. So additional security is guaranteed by employing the element of asynchronicity. This means that the network will work smoothly and retain data correctness, even if some parts of that network may go down and implementing asynchronous properties to BFT is a step forward to ensure maximum security. The last big variable is decentralization. And usually it's not easy to decentralize DAG to the same level as blockchain, but LF0 is working on implementing a mechanism that chooses rotating committee members randomly. And in the testnet, they're already testing it using again, 128 nodes, but on mainnet, they are targeting for a much higher number. So the randomness will be more and the network will become more decentralized and more scalability, more security and more decentralization all point to the fact that LF0 has at least partially cracked the code for solving the blockchain trilemma. And while that's already impressive, there's actually a lot more to this ecosystem. The LF0 ecosystem has three main products. First of all, the LF0 infrastructure layer. This is the layer one blockchain. They use proof of stake as consensus mechanism and the DAG based consensus protocol, again, LFBFT powers this. So this means that LF0 doesn't need mining. In other words, transactions are low cost or even free, which makes DAGs suitable for IoT apps. And DAGs are also ideal for daily small crypto transactions, all because of course of the low transaction costs. The second main product is the liminal privacy layer. This is where LF0 uses the ZK snarks and the SMPC for privacy. So it's a hybrid solution and that's precisely what makes them stand out. The ZK snarks pass a secure and secret key between users. However, what makes them so interesting is the following. They don't reveal the information and there's also no interaction between the prover and verifier. Zcash, which is another privacy chain, also uses the ZK snarks. And then SMPCs secure data through many computers. And they can't access data, by the way, without complete accord of consensus. And in the meantime, all blockchains that bridge to LF0 can use Liminal, which acts as a multi-chain standalone privacy layer. And that third main product is Common Wallet. This is a DEX, a decentralized exchange, and a dark pool. The latter are private exchanges. The general public has no access to them, but one of the key features of common is that it eliminates front running. Front running is when your transaction is in a queue and a bad actor knows the details of your transaction and can potentially influence the price of this future transaction. And some additional parts of their ecosystem include the LF0 cloud. There's also decentralized file storage and IPFS private smart contracts, and these are scalable and self-executing. There's also the blockchain ecosystem of LF0, and it's a fairly new project, so it's a smaller one, but nevertheless, you gotta start somewhere. And so far, we are impressed with what they're trying to accomplish. We're here on LF0.org, taking a look at the team, which as you can see, is quite robust. They have currently over 30 members. You can find their names on the website as shown here and in the white paper, so the team is not anonymous which is fundamentally a very good point for any crypto project to be able to boast. And again, we've said it before, it's always a deal breaker for us when the team is not transparent. So the fact that they are here is a great sign. Right now they call Zug Switzerland their home, which of course is a very crypto friendly region in a very crypto friendly country. And some of the companies or organizations that team members previously worked for include IBM, Stellar, Codewise, Cap Gemini, ING Bank, Tibco Software, Google, Uber, and Riverbed Technology. Let's now talk about tokenomics with a look at the A0 token, that's LF0's native token. It's a mainnet. The token has a current price of about 71 cents at the time of this recording, and their market cap is a self-reported figure of $48 million. So they're still very much at an early stage. They also have a self-reported circulating supply of 71 million tokens, and it's an inflationary token, so there's not really a max supply to speak of. The current total supply is around 300 million, and each year they add 30 million tokens as staking rewards. In over 24 hours, the price of the token has gone up by about 6.6%. Their all-time high was $3.09. That was back in mid-April of 2022, just over a couple of months ago. 
Right now, there are only three exchanges where you can buy the A0 token. MEXC was the first exchange that offered the token. That was back in January. And they also boast the highest 24-hour trade volume with $625,000. And then later in March, Gate.io started offering A0. Their 24-hour trading volume stands at about a quarter million. Then the last exchange to join was Who, that was in April. They have a 24-hour trading volume of about $237,000. In our humble opinion, MEXC Exchange is undoubtedly a better exchange on which to buy A0 because high trading volume leads to fairer prices. Once again, guys, you can sign up with MEXC through this link. It's popping up on screen. You can also find it in the description of this video. And by using it, that's our exclusive altcoin buzz link, you get a straight 10% lifetime discount on all trading fees. And also you get a chance to win part of the $6,699 in bonuses that we are jointly offering. Keep your eyes glued to our social media channels as well as MEXCs for further announcements. Okay, let's stay impartial and talk about some of the competitors out there. And we have to think about this in the context of exactly what LF0 is competing against. Let's take a look at the overall smart contract platform, the SCP sector that had a $750 billion market cap in Q1 of this year, 2022. There are almost 90 SCPs against smart contract platforms in that scene. And combined, they have a 35% digital asset market share. Out of this, Ethereum has a 60% market share, but furthermore, the top 10 platforms represent 89% of that market cap. So in other words, LF0 is in a highly competitive space. And other DAG-based platforms, for instance, are Phantom, IOTA, and Hedera Hashgraph, definitely some names that you've likely heard before. Some of the layer one blockchains that are occupying the same space include Fuse Network, Concordium, and Parallel Chain. Competing privacy blockchains include Zcash and Monero, and hybrid blockchains in the same arena are Ripple, Kadena, and Dragon Chain. No question, there is plenty of competition in this space. However, LF0 is doing things their own way. They stand out from the competitors for two specific reasons, and these two reasons are their biggest selling points. First of all, they have state-of-the-art consensus with a unique peer-reviewed ABFT consensus mechanism. That is short for a synchronous Byzantine fault tolerant. Honest nodes of a network guarantee to agree on the timing and order of a set of transactions in a fair and secure way. And secondly, they have a universal privacy layer, Liminal, based on the ZK Snarks and SMPC. Let's now take a look at the company's roadmap and in describing it, LF0 keeps it simple. They either have something done, have it in progress, or it's coming up in the future. Simple, easy, straightforward, we like that, so let's have a look at what it is they're projecting. Completed our phase one and two. This included the peer reviewed consensus protocol and liminal. In progress right now are the following. Phase three, among others, native token transfers, Rust implementation of LF BFT consensus. And in phase four, for instance, the validator elections, basic smart contract capabilities. And then coming up are phases five and six. In phase five, bridges 1.0 with Kusama, Ethereum and a custom web wallet and more. And in phase six, Bridges 2.0, Polkadot, Cosmos and BNB and experimental transaction fees, free or nearly free fees. So there you have it, a look at this new and exciting crypto project, this potential gem Aleph Zero, whose token again is A0. Among other things, we introduced you to their consensus mechanism that stands out in our opinion. We also showed you a variety of use cases they claim to have solved the blockchain trilemma because they're fast, they're decentralized and scalable, so they say. You had a look into how they set up their ecosystem with the LF0 infrastructure layer, but also the liminal privacy layer and their common wallet. And we looked at the team and their tokenomics. The roadmap is also looking good. The team seems to be on the ball and keeps meeting their goals. These are all excellent signs. And we can conclude at least for now that this is an undervalued project in our opinion. Otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it. So keep an eye on this one. Let us know your thoughts about this one, guys, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army in the comments below. Do you think that we can truly see a project that will one day solve the blockchain trilemma? Sound off, let us know your thoughts. If you're still watching this video, kudos. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell to receive notifications. Never financial advice, but genuinely, we wish you the best of luck if you choose to invest. Check out these other couple of videos, guys, popping up to my left, to my right. Stay safe out there. And as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.